Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. If you're new here, my name is Talia and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize your iPhone using the new iOS 14 update so that you can add widgets and change the icons on your apps. So the first thing that you want to do is pick a good wallpaper for the background of your phone. This is going to be for your lock screen. I just picked a random picture that I had in my camera roll, but you could pick anything. Um, and then what you're want, going to want to do is just open up your phone and then any apps that you have on your home screen or anything like that, um, when you unlock your phone, you're going to want to move those out of the way to make room for the widgets and the icons that we're going to be making. So the way that you do this is like say I'm here and these are my apps and I don't care for example about having this app like all the time readily available so I'll just pick like a random one and then I go to where it says remove app and then it's going to ask you if you want to delete it but now with the new update it comes up to move to app library. So you're going to click on that and then it's actually going to move it into here and pre-organize it for you which is like amazing and it just makes it so much easier to find things so it basically puts them into folders for you so now that you've moved everything over into the library the next thing that you want to do is you know get it completely empty basically so that you can change your wallpaper so i actually chose one that I had in my camera roll from when I went shopping for paint samples. Um, but you could pick really anything. Then after that, you're going to want to go into the app store, then type in an app called Widget Smith. And I'm just going to open mine up. So then you wind up having like a bunch of widgets that look like this. We're gonna make this calendar one. So you go to the medium widgets and then you're gonna click that then you're going to set it like that and then they have different types of layouts that you can pick for for your calendar so this is the one that i picked for mine the font that i picked was new york then i did a white color and then you can make your background you can make it pink or anything like that so we're actually going to go with the pink because that's what I picked before and then maybe change this to black. You can add a border if you want. So we could do that and definitely add a border. And then once you're done, you go to the beginning and you're going to want to hit save, exit out of it. And then let's say you go up here, you click on the left hand corner. And then these are your widgets. So iOS 14 comes pre-installed with some widgets already, but when you make custom widgets on a different app, you kind of have to go searching for them a little bit more. So you're going to go to Widgetsmith and then pick the size of the widget that you made from before. We made a medium one, so we're going to pick that. And then there you have yours. And let's say like you didn't want this one, maybe you wanted another one that you had made previously, you're gonna to go to edit widget, and then it comes up with the different widgets that you had made before. So we'll change it to medium number two, and that's the one that I made that didn't have a border before on it. So then once you have that, like you can make different widgets in the Widget Smith app. I wanted to show you guys how to make the small widget. So you're going to go and click add small widget. You can make different kinds here but we're going to select one with custom text. You're just going to put in whatever text that you want. And again, I'm gonna just pick the same font that I had before, which was New York. And then you can change the color of the text that you made. So we're gonna make it gray. We'll make the background pink again. But we're gonna make the color black of the font. Maybe we'll pick a white border this time. And then you have it and it's called small number four but you could rename it and just rename it to like whatever you want so you could change it to text and then save it you're going to go back into here click on the left hand side of the screen and then you're going to go into the widget smith look for the small widget 
that you made. And now here we have where it comes up with a different one than the one that we had made. This was one that I already had in my library. So what we're gonna do is click Edit Widget, and then it's going to change from that one to the text one that we made. So the next widget that I'm gonna show you guys how to make is the Photos one. So it'll either pull from your gallery random photos or it will pull a specific photo that you selected for it. So we're gonna have it pull a specific photo and we're going to go looking for the Widget Smith app again. And then this time, we're going to make a small widget. We're gonna call this one Photo. And then you're gonna go down into Custom and then click Photo. Then underneath, it says Selected Photo. You're gonna click on that, Choose Photo, and then you could pick any photo that you'd like. So we're gonna pick this picture of my dog, Winter. And then you hit Save. And now you're going to go back to your main screen, then click the plus sign, go down to Widget Smith again, small this time, and then it pulls the wrong widget, so we're going to go to Edit Widget, and then we're gonna pick the photo one, and it pulls the photo that you want. So our next widget is going to be the Reminders widget, and this is one that comes with the iOS update. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is press on the home screen, click the upper left-hand corner, and then you're going to scroll down to Reminders, and it gives you different sizes, so we're gonna click the small one. I put Add Widget, and then Edit Widget because I want my daily reminder list to show up, not my entire list. And then, there you go. And it like matches the colors, which makes it look really cute. So then you can move these around and figure out like however you like them, what order you like them in, and everything like that. So I guess I like that for now. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I made the text that went over the swatches that I took pictures of in Home Depot and how I made those into covers. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to go to over, look for it in your apps, you're going to hit image, and then we're going to look for the swatch that we took a picture of. So it's right here. We're going to make it a square dimension one by one. And then you're going to type in like the name of the app, make it lowercase. And then this one looks kind of cool. So we're gonna click that. We're gonna make the color black because it's easier to read. And then for size, I like to make it really big so that you can see it as you're going through your phone. So then you're gonna click check and then hit the save button. And then once you've done that, you're going to look for the shortcuts app and then we're gonna look for open app right here and then we're going to set it to Google Maps add to home screen click this button choose photo this one that's gonna be it done and then it's there and now you have it on your home screen. This is the one that I designed in the beginning. And here's my main calendar widget up here with the cute picture of my dog on the bottom right there. So I could always see it when I open up my phone. Daily reminders, an inspirational message that I just like to write for myself. These are the covers that I chose for my favorite apps that I want to have there. And then I reassign the ones on the bottom to different covers that I made using over with the shortcut method. So that's it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did like it, don't forget to leave a comment below, hit that like button, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye.